Z, that second half, the adjustments that they were able to make offensively, what made it so difficult for that second half? Um, you know, just credit to them, their offensive scheme. Uh, I just felt like they just had answers. Um, I just, uh, extremely complex system. Um, I felt like they uh, were able to pretty much run anything out of everything. Um, they saw we was taking away a lot of deep passes, uh, converted to some screens, was able to get some plays in space. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I thought we did, you know, a good job of limiting some of the explosives. Uh, I think we just uh, got to be better in the red zone. With those two backs, what makes them so difficult to contain? Uh, you know, I just definitely thought they was uh, talented. You know, I think, uh, to be honest with you, I think it starts with that offensive line. I think, you know, one of the best five that we're going to play this season. Um, and, uh, you know, I think those guys do a good job of, you know, getting downhill. You know, so uh, just, you know, they was able to put us in, you know, a, couple, a lot of run pass conflicts. Um, you know, trying to take away a lot of the deep passes while also, you know, stop a downhill physical run game. So um, they had some success and, uh, you know, we got to be better next time. Uncharacteristically, there were a lot of penalties today on this team. Was that just kind of the way that they were forced you guys into some frustrating situations to some degree? Man, I wouldn't really give them that much credit. Yeah. You know, I would really say uh, that's just on us. Um, you know, we that's uncharacteristic of us. Um, you know, we know we're a more disciplined team than that. Um, you know, the penalties. You know, it's tough as when, you know, to bounce back, you know, over and over again when the penalty take away a big play. Um, you know, but that's just something we got to tighten up and be better at next time. Those Lions fan, fans out there were really loud. How frustrating is it when you're at home and you've got that amount of opposing fandom and that noise working against you? I mean, it's disappointing. Uh, you know, it hurts, um, you know, when they take over a, a stadium like that. But, you know, it starts with us. We got to do our part. Um, you know, give our fans something to cheer for. It's hard for them to make noise when we when we losing. So, um, you know, that being said, we got to be better at home. You know, I feel like we, you know, we had some, you know, good performances at home, but, you know, I know Detroit's a short drive, so they, they made the trip. JT, just 67 net yards of offense in that second half. How were they able to be so effective against you guys? Uh, you know, you really just beating ourselves, though, first and foremost. Um, it was like 10 or 11 something penalties, so uh, that's that's already going to put you behind. You know, when you're not playing clean football against a great team like that, you're already putting yourself behind the stick. So that's just, first and foremost, that's something that, we, you know, you have to fix immediately. That's uncharacteristic for you guys. What caused so many unforced errors? You just have to stay locked in and focused. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a physical game. It's a straining game. And you have to find a way every single play, every single drive, every single quarter to stay locked in and focused and try to execute at a high level every play. The first half, you guys were able to sustain some drives, put yourself in the red zone. What made it so difficult to find any sort of offensive momentum in the second half? Uh, def definitely being able to play the game of chess. You know, as they make adjustments, we make adjustments and finding a way to get back into the rhythm. It's all part of the game, but you have to find a way. Those great teams, those elite teams, find a way to make adjustments and find a way to keep that momentum. Rolling. When you find a way to put yourself in the red zone, you've got this defense that's creating opportunities for you. How frustrating is it when you're not able to capitalize on those with touchdowns? It's very frustrating because, you know, they're playing their tails off. You don't want them on the field a bunch. And, and as an offense, you want to be able to, to play complementary football. Same thing with special teams. You want to be able to help the defense and vice versa. So for us, like I said, specifically on offense, you know, it sucks when you can't help the defense out, you know, when they're fighting their tails off all game. Lots you know, the, not the result that you guys wanted, but want to focus on your effectiveness there with that strip sack. What did you see that created the opportunity on Jared Goff? Well, sure. I just, I just won the edge, and I seen him, you know, hitching. So our DBs were, you know, locking up back there and gave us some time, gave me some time to, you know, get him. And I just try to, you know, put my inside hand at the ball, try to get it out. I knew we needed, you know, the ball back, try and get something. You guys were able to make some plays up front. What made it so difficult, though, to make enough of them to put yourself in a better position to win? Sure. I mean, they schemed against us really well. I mean, they're getting the ball out just super quick. Um, I mean, it is tough to try and make every play consistently, but, you know, I feel like we gave, you know, our best out there, you know, yeah. Talk to Zaire, and he mentioned that you guys, one of the things that you were able to do was eliminate much of the explosiveness within their offense. However, how difficult was it to contain those two running backs that they have with the dynamic and the way that they're able to grind you down? Yeah, I mean, shoot, the way he was cutting the ball back, I mean, he's doing that at top speed. That makes it really hard. Um, they're great running backs, and, you know, they were, they were, you know, it was hard keeping up with the, what was it, you like a 4-3 or something like that, 4-2, but, um, you know, we gave it our best out there and, you know, we were able to stop some explosive, you know, runs and stuff like that and able to get them out, able to get us out on, on a three and out, so, you know.
Detroit prides themselves on their physicality. How physical was it up in the trenches in particular this afternoon? Oh, it was definitely physical. I mean, shoot, they're getting after, you know, from the jump. And, uh, but shoot, we all came out fine. You guys were able to make fourth down stop, forced them into some three and outs at certain points. Did it just feel like that you couldn't do enough this afternoon? I mean, shoot, we went out there, gave it our all, um, trying to create some, some type of turnover, some type of momentum, but um, you know, we just got to look at the film and, and you know, fix what we got to fix.